Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here, 3.30 this morning. Couldn't sleep. You know, I want to tell you how you're being played by your politics. America, the greatest nation on the face of the earth. Other places, they have paid leave. Parents need to go away from the school or somebody's sick. They get this kind of paid leave, extra leave. You know what? Many of the places got health care for everybody, everybody. You know, health care is very important. Many countries got it, but America, the greatest nation on earth, doesn't have it. There are many programs that the Democrats were talking about uh, introducing as far as bringing back America better. These programs, they, people have always been entitled to them, but they've never, ever had access to them here in the United States of America. And so the Democrats say, well, we have taken a great big loss with the pandemic. We understand that things have been brought to our attention because of this, that our community is suffering, has been suffering all the while, but we perhaps have turned a blind eye to it. But now we've got a chance to come back better. We see that making America great again caused us pain and suffering. It divided us and brought out the haters and that was in us and the haters. It did all of that. But now we're going to try to fix it by answering the problems that so many people have had. They've been complaining about this and complaining about that. And so now, because they are ready to do anything, we're going to guide them by giving them something that's better. That's what the Democrats said. But then the political thing was in. It's you, my people, uh, sisters and brothers of America who are being played. Not only don't you have those other benefits that other nations that fall so low by, by America's standards do have, they don't plan to give them to you. Do you realize that in this political season right now, the Republicans are not offering you anything when it comes down to 22, uh, the 2022 uh, election? They're not offering you anything. They have just set in place the wherewithal, the means, so they can just take it. Now, see, if they say we can put in place a means of taking the election, that means they can do what they want to do. They don't have to ask you, promise you anything. They just take the election and get in office and do what they want to do. And what do they want to do? They want to make sure that Jews and blacks and people of color remember that they are not white. They are not privileged that they are here to support the cause of those who are white and who are privileged feel that they should be doing. That's exactly what it's all about. And so, ladies and gentlemen, the Republicans have nothing to offer you except they're going to take it the, uh, the election. That which the Democrats have proposed to you, the Republicans, not a single one of them appears to support it, or if so, not enough to get any power behind it. So you're going to be denied by the Republicans who don't get care about what you're thinking about because they got other agenda. You're going to be denied by a political party that is not powerful enough to defeat and don't have behind it the legal wherewithal. And where they do might have some breath, they got their own Democrats standing up with the other cause to defeat anything that you might be able to do. And so who lose? You, the American people. Oh, that extra child care, that other care that you get for your kids. Nah, that health care that what you need for your ears to help you hear, that eyes to help you see, teeth to help you chew, and anything to help you walk if you need it. I mean, all what you need. Nah, America. And it's political scene, and those people in the power say, to hell with you. <laughs> and you have to go back home and sit down and wait till another election and let these people move all over you, and you have no recourse. They have shown that the Constitution doesn't mean a thing to you. And the church is about as weak as sugar water. And here you are. But you are not alone. You're not alone. You see, ladies and gentlemen, there was a plan put in play before even human beings were put on this earth. 
And that plan that was put in play meant that you shouldn't have to pay for anything. That you come here, you render a service to humankind, a gift to humankind by the spirit of God's love to have an abundance of all those things that you require, first of all, for survival, like food, clothing, shelter, education, health care, transportation, any other thing you can imagine. And that's to be provided for by those resources that are free and to be made manifest by the hands of those humans who have a part to play in the manifestation of the goods and services that have been determined by you, the people, that are essential for your joy in life. That was not a cost of penny. It didn't cost you anything. You see, this is where you must understand that money has nothing to do with fairness and justice. Money is a tool that's used by those people that are using it to do to you exactly what they are doing to you. And got you convinced that this system came from God. It did not come from God. It came from the same place. Russia got a system. United States got a system. Africa got a system. China got a system. Everybody got a system. None of them came from God. Why? How you know it? Because of the pain and suffering that everybody's endured. And the people, you have been taught <clears throat> lies. You know, everybody is convinced that what they've been taught is the truth. And it's contradictory everywhere. And you are lost. And the only way you can find the truth is you got to change your own spirit. You got to change your own spirit. Make a decision that you're going to change your own spirit. And what do I mean by change your spirit? When you think about what you're going through, think about how it can be fixed. How can it be fixed that you, you the individual, can have your dreams come true? How can it be fixed in such a way that you can eliminate the violence? Without the lying, without the cheating, without the stealing, without the terror, without the war, without the hatred, without the bigotry. How can it be done without that? The only way is to accept the fact that all the resources belong to God. That the ability to produce belongs to mankind for the purpose of mankind. Not for profit. Not for somebody who hits profit. And say we got this and we got that. That's stealing. That's a con. That's a liar, and that's a, you, put the, you fill in the blank. And that's what's running for your president. That's what's running for your House of Representatives. Do you realize you're going to be going to the polls voting for people that's going to keep you in bondage? And for those of you who think that they are going to uh, look out for you, the fact that they're not going to look out for the others is an indication that you shouldn't want them to look out for you because they make you a partner in the pain and suffering of others. But you don't know that, see, because even your preachers are over there with them, siding with them, saying that God sent this kind of attitude to America to save America with all this pain and suffering. Wow, what have America eaten? I'm sure that's a big stomach ache. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, with this information, it's not just for you to know. It's for you to do something about it. For you to start making decisions. For you to start telling politicians what to do. Don't let them tell you what they're not going to do. But see, they got so many people in agreement with them. No, you got to go out there and talk to your, your brothers and sisters. Sure, they've been fed a bunch of garbage. But with that garbage, they are sick. But they need help. No need to try to fight against them. No, 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 no. Let them know that, that the house that they live in requires the same thing that your house live in. And that you both are to be satisfied. That's your commitment to one another. Not that you're going to scheme and scam to try to outdo the other one. What the hell is this? Yeah, exactly what it is. Hell. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm asking you to change. I want you to be, act like God. You might not believe in God, but at least they haven't said too much about evil about God in a long time. They talked about God way, 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 way back there, talking about how God was killing people. Well, this God is not killing people. This God is trying to save your life. Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. Make the right decision. Until next time, this is Eddie Marcus saying good morning.